for everything. There are no thanks necessary. Oh, I knew you would say that. It just it means a lot, you helping me. All right. I will help you, but you're gonna have to let me go so that I can go over there and get the paperwork. Hey. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Oof. I don't feel good. Mom! Mom! Hey! Answer me, Mom! Mom, come on, answer me. I'm calling hey, what happened? I don't know. She just... Mom, hey, hey, hey. You just fainted. Mom, oh, no. Call 911. Really I'll mom. stay with her. Hey, Alexis, your favorite client, all right? I'm gonna put my hands on your neck. All right, don't slug me. Hi. Yeah, this is Sam Morgan. Listen, I need an ambulance at 57 Lake Road, right? please. Yeah, Cross Street Vista. to tell them there might be a wedding. Well, you can start by telling me. Michael! Oh, I didn't know you were here. Hey, yes. Hey. Hey. Want to check in and uh, make sure Trey wasn't lying about this wedding? He told you. Oh, is that a surprise? I, mean, I, I think I deserve to know when somebody in the family is getting married, don't you? Hmm. Unless you misunderstood and Dad and Kate aren't getting married. I haven't told Chris... Hey, hey, we need a little help here. Did you call us in? We spoke to dispatcher Drew. She was unconscious at the scene. Her pulse is steady, respiration normal, but her temperature's elevated. Take her to cubicle two. I'll call the on call. That's yeah. What happened? She just collapsed. They don't know what's wrong with her. See Alexis about my case. Only an explanation. Is that how you felt yesterday? What changed? Sam and I decided to end our marriage. I didn't know. And now you know. She's in and out of consciousness. She fainted with her any morning. Her temperature is slightly elevated, but everything else seems normal. Does your mother have a history of low blood pressure? No, well, she's a cancer survivor. I know that she had chemo several years ago, and she fainted a lot. But as far as I know, she's cancer-free. So no current health problems you're aware of? No, not until last night. What happened last night? brings you down here? I came in with Carly. She was worried about her daughter. Jocelyn has some kind of red mark on her arm. The red mark? Yeah, yeah, kind of like a, a bug bite. Why? Alexis has this odd little red mark on her arm, too. You got any idea where the little girl got the red mark? You got this, this bug bite? Well, her mother said that she was uh, sleepwalking outside last night. You don't sound convinced. Well, it's a big house. Jocelyn's room's on the second floor. Seems kind of strange that she would go all the way downstairs and then outside. Yeah. Hey, uh, how, how's Jocelyn? We're running some tests. She had some kind of bite or bump on her arm. Okay, you should know that Alexis Davis was just brought in with the same red mark on her arm. Let's turn about Alexis. Where are we? Christian Sauter described syncope, preceded by fatigue and headache. Okay, I'm a friend of the family. Might if I take a look? Of course. I'm gonna call Christina and let her know what's going on. Hey. Do you know how your mother got this mark? No. I mean, she didn't mention it. I mean, does it matter if she fainted? Would that have anything to do with it? You know, I'm all upset just because I knew first for once, you know? The only reason Dad told me is because he wanted my opinion on the ring. But then, of course, Trey were be talking about it, and I should have told him just to keep his mouth shut. I mean, what if Kate says no? She won't. Still, it's the principle. Are you sure that's all it was? Yeah. Hmm. Why? Do you really find it that shocking that Dad would confide in me? No, okay. I'm happy for you, okay? I am. Thank you. I just... 
I really hope that it works out this time between Dad and Kate. Yeah, I do too. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Chrissy, it's me. Where are you? I'm at home. Where are you? Where's Mom? That's why I'm calling. Don't panic, but she's in the hospital. Is she all right? What happened? She was leaving for work, and, and she fainted. I'm on my way. What's going on? My mom's in the hospital. Well, let me drive you. Michael, I don't need a baby. Christina, we're wasting time. Let's go. My mom is in and out of consciousness. They're running a bunch of tests, trying to figure out why she passed out twice in the past 24 hours. What's twice? She passed out last night while she was at Windermere. What was she doing out there? Well, apparently the security company called and said the alarm was tripped and they wanted to have her make sure nothing was taken. What's Windermere? It's a house my family owns out on Spoon Island. Her temperature's gone up another degree. Jason can tell you nothing good ever happens at Windermere. Um, had been broken into? My mother didn't see any signs of a break-in. Okay. Did the security company send someone out to check it out, or did they call the cops? No, there must have been some sort of a mix-up, because my mom said when she went out to do the run-through, nobody showed up. Were you with Alexis when the call came in? No, she was on her way to the office, but she didn't seem overly concerned. So, Alexis went to Windermere because the security company called, they never showed up, and what, she just, she fainted? I, I don't, she said that she got dizzy, and she thinks she may have laid down for a minute. She thinks she doesn't actually remember. No, which I was worried about, and I thought it was weird, and I tried to kind of push on it, and she blew it off, and I probably should have pushed harder. You have the name of that security company? Harbor View Security. I think it's listed. Why? If you don't mind, I might just check it out. Yeah, of course. She's with the doctors. They're running some tests. I know she's going to want to see you, but you got to stay calm, okay? Hey, your mom will be glad to see you. Oh, mom. Well, why did something happen? I'm going to need another blood sample. This mark is really similar to one I just saw on another patient. Are you talking about Jocelyn? Yeah, that's right. I want to see if the marks are related. Mom? God, she looks so sick. Do they know what's wrong? Steve, do you have any answers for us? Not yet. We're gonna find out what's going on. You're absolutely sure? Okay. Thank you. What'd they say? They have a computerized call log. They record every event. There was no alarm trips. So the security company never called Alexis? No. Someone did. Which means she was lured to Windermere. So, any idea who would want to get Alexis to Spoon Island? No, not a clue. Well, she works for Sunny. Has there been any trouble at the office lately? Sonny's associates wouldn't target Alexis. She's strictly a defense attorney. No privilege and information? No, none. How about family? Family. Cassidines. Uh, Nicholas Cassidine, I think he's living in Europe somewhere, and there's Helena. But I don't see why she would knock Alexis out and leave her lying on the couch. Okay. What about the mark on Alexis's arm, right? You said the little girl had one, too. So what do Jocelyn and Alexis have in common? Is there a connection? Hey, excuse me. Um, Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes. Um, I'm John McBain. Would you do me a favor? When Sam comes out, would you tell her I had to leave for a little bit? I had to take care of something? Mom? Christina. Hey. Don't worry. They're running some tests. They're going to figure out why you keep fainting. This wasn't the first time? No, she fainted last night at Windermere. You even know how to get to Windermere? No. You 
got a boat? No, but I'm sure I can find a boat. Oh, no, I got a boat docked at the warehouse. Why so cooperative all of a sudden? Because I don't buy that Jocelyn just wandered out of her house last night at the same time Alexis was lured to Windermere. So what are we waiting for? On the next General Hospital. We've been here for hours and you still have no idea what's wrong with my daughter. What if it's not a bug bite at all? What if it's something entirely different? Somebody wanted Alexis out here. But who? The main objective for me is to cheat death once again.